Hi everyone, I'm back again. I'm fixing. Hi, I'm Dolores. Welcome to my channel. You can call me Miss D. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get started. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so. And join in on the video. Okay. As y'all can see, I have my Valentine items here on the table. Okay, guys. Let's talk about them. Different ways that you can make them. As you can always see, I'm going to give you three ways, even though there's several ways. In my last video, you seen where I had the um the earrings and I had a shape of the heart, the African earrings, and I made that out of ID badge, okay? This time, I'm showing you three different ways. Let's start with the first. Let's start with the first one, okay? The first one is um it'll be this heart puff. This puffed heart. And you know we all know where to get these from. The Dollar Tree. Walmart, Target, just about anywhere, okay? Okay. The second one, Dollar Tree. Guess what this is, guys? A ring. Clip it. The back of it. That's all you do. And I shave the back of it to give it a flat surface. Oh, trying to get away from me. I put a little bit of E6000 on this because it is glue. And the reason why I did that, you know, the E6000 on coordinate with the uh, if it's not a resin bead so guess what I did this on purpose to give it that crackle look and it's pretty if you can see it I'm not sure if you can see it but that's what it looked like you can see it and that's what I wanted it comes like this plain not crackled in the middle and but I was looking for the crackle part in the middle clip it I use my fingernail clipper, my fingernail um, file set that I had, um, electric, and I just drilled it down. That's all I did, guys. And the third one, as you can see, this is some wood I bought from a vendor off of Etsy. Pre-cut wood, circle, with a hole already in it. I think it's a one, one and a half inch, I believe, if I'm not mistaken one and a half inch and this is this I put a little E6000 on the back it's still drying I painted it silver to give it just a little look as you can see okay but let's go ahead and talk about the puffed heart as you can see I already started it right I already put my charms on it and all so make sure they snap back it's all you do. Y'all avoid the train. <laughs> that noise. But make sure it snap back. And it does. Look. Only thing I did with this guys was use hot glue. That's it. Blinged it out. Hot glue. That's all I did. This is a broken necklace. And I used it for an embellishment. These are my beads. Glass beads. I have so many beads I need to show y'all my charms and stuff and that's what I end up with some of them when they like this I don't put always put my metal charms on them I embellish them with a lot of my beads and stuff so yeah that's that I was fixing to put and I'm fixing to go ahead and glue my bead there or either I may put the nail polish here I'm not sure but this is the first way and how do we take that off? It come off of this stick right here, you know. And that was the pink one. And the red one, instead of yanking it out, because sometimes you can tear it, guys. Only thing you do is twist it. Give it a little twist. Give it a little twist. It'll slide right out. Don't worry about the hole at the bottom, because it will be at the bottom, okay? And you end up with a perfect heart. That's all you do. 
That's all you do. Get you some glue and hot glue it. That's all you do. I'm not going to do this one because I thought I had an extra one here for it, but I'm not. So I just set this to the side for later. But I already preset this one here with my charms. My little small beaded glass bead, acrylic bead, glass beads for the, at the bottom. And I did a middle um, charm right there. I already preset it with my bling, with my mesh bling. And what I'm going to do, instead of putting some charms here, this is what I'm going to do. Use my 6 mil beads here that I have. And y'all have seen these before. Use a little bit of E6000. And y'all want to see me do this right quick with this here. Just a little bit off the top. Just a little bit in the hole like that. That's how you do. That's all you do. There you go. That's it. And I might finish it all the way around just like that. A little E6000 on the back. Y'all can see. Just a little. And I don't use more than a little. If you use a little bit more than you need to, remember to always put your cap back on, okay? Because that glue will run everywhere. And y'all, it will get messy. And we don't need to waste no glue because that glue is expensive. Okay? Don't worry about how I do that. Some of them do them different, but that's just a habit I have. And that's all you do. That's it. So, that's it. Now what I'm going to do, put some, I don't know why I put that there. But it's alright, because guess what, when it about dries, it'll be just fine. I don't know. I'm going to take that off. The reason why I'm going to take that off, y'all, because by the time they pull pull down on their um, retractable right here, it's going to get caught. So guess what? I'm just going to do the front. And I might just go ahead and do the whole thing like that. That's cute. Already by itself. So guess what? Guess what I'm fixing to do. This is the first one. This is the second one. And let's go ahead real right quick and do this. Okay. And I just thought to do this on camera, y'all. Okay. Something real quick on camera. As y'all can see, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue here. Remember y'all, it can get messy. It can get real messy. I said, won't you use your pickup tool? They're better. I'm telling y'all, I've been using this and things right here, stuff like this for so long, because it's easier for me. You see? See how I embellish that just that fast. I'll put one right there. And one right there. That's too much glue. No, it's not. Because by the time I get through putting it on here, you'll see. It won't be too much glue. I won't use that one. That's the only thing my downfall right there. And I know better. 
Let me put this up here so y'all can see me. And I'm using all red. I don't want no silver. I don't want no white. I want all red. You know why I'm putting all red? So they can see me, girl. Yeah, so they can see my badge. Where you get that from, girl? You better shop closet of sass. Honey, when she say she don't play, don't play with her. I'm trying to tell you. That one up just a tad. Look, y'all. And I just decided to do that on camera. It'll be pretty too by itself. But I just thought I'd give it a little twist. And what I'm going to do, y'all, is put it on here. And there's your end result. Like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this down right here, like that, and that's my end result. My end result, the number one. The number one, the number two, and now we're going to do the number three. And these little puff hearts, y'all, come like this. You know, they come like this from the Dollar Tree. Play in the well when it's Valentine's Day. That's all they are. And a lot of them come with them, too. So... And you can make a lot of ID badges. I'm thinking to show y'all something else I made with them too. I picked up some pink. And guess what I'm fixing to do with y'all for the first time on camera. This is my first time doing this, right? And these, remember, and the the rings. Remember, it was this. And I did to this, made it to this. That's it. To this. I hadn't glued it yet, so. <laughs> but that's it. I'm just showing you what it'll look like once I glue everything down. But that is it. Y'all tell me which one y'all like when in the comments below. Okay, I'd love to hear y'all comment. Just leave a comment. Okay, let's see. And we have this one. But guess what, y'all? I'm going to see if I can... And guess what else I picked up, y'all? This. These are the table scatters. The little hard, the hard acrylic beads. Guess what? You can find these at the Dollar, the dollar Tree, too. So, I'm not going to open them all the way. I'm going to get probably like two or three to see what they'll look like. Oh, I don't like that one. That's messed up. The thing is, have a lot of them in there. Hold on, y'all. Okay, that's the one that was messed up. Yeah. I'm fixing to see. Look. And you can do the. This is my first time doing this on camera, like this. So I'm fixing to see y'all what it look like. And I know it's going to be pretty. Okay, let's see. Do I want to use my hot glue gun or my E6000? I'm going to do the E6000 because it's acrylic. And I wonder, will it crackle? Will it, will it crackle, y'all? Y'all think? Can y'all see me? Let me move that right there. Can y'all see me doing this? Okay, yeah, y'all can see. 